Hi guys and welcome to Intuition Study Services. In today's episode, we'll be looking at another variation of lightning maths. The quickest, fastest and easiest way to multiply two three-digit numbers together. This will be done using the star or asterisk method, which will also make use of the down cross down method. Click here to check out that video, or you can click on the link provided in the description below. Okay, so let's take a look at an example. Can you multiply 212 by 121 and get the answer all in one line in a very short amount of time? Using the column method, you would normally get the answer in four lines, but with this method that I will show you, you will get the answer all in one line in a very short amount of time. Okay, so let's begin. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to move over to the units column and we want to multiply downwards. So we do 2 times 1, which gives us 2. Then we want to multiply crosswise. So we do 2 times 2, which is 4. And we want to add that to 1 times 1, which is 1. And that gives us 5 in total. So then we put that 5 here. Then we do what we call the asterisk or the star. So we do 2 times 1, which is 2. We want to add that to 2 times 1 again which is 2, and we're going to add that again to 1 times 2, which is 2. And that totals to 6, and we put that 6 here in the hundreds column. The next step is to do another cross, so we multiply crosswise again. So we do 1 times 1, which gives us 1. We're going to add that to 2 times 2, which is 4. So that totals to 5, and put the 5 here. And then finally, we multiply downwards again, so that's 2 times 1, which gives us 2. So the answer is 25,652. Now, just as before, these arrows or lines and this mini working here is completely optional and can be done mentally. Okay, so let's take a look at another example. Let's consider this time 123 times 456. Let's get the answer all in one line without using a calculator, okay? So the first thing that we want to do is we want to multiply downwards in the units column. So that's 3 times 6, which is 18. And because we have a two-digit number, we need to carry the 1. So we write the 8 here and we carry the 1 down there. Then we do the cross. So we do 3 times 5, which is 15. And we want to add that to 2 times 6, which is 12, and that totals to 27. Right, so carrying this one from before, we add that on, so that makes 28, and we carry the 2. The next step is to do the asterisk, or the star. So we do 3 times 4, which is 12, and we want to add that to 1 times 6, which is 6. I'm going to add that again to 2 times 5, which is 10, and that totals to 28. Now carrying this 2 from before, that gives us 30. So put the 0 here and we carry the 3 down there. Then we do the cross again. So we do 2 times 4, which is 8, and we want to add that to 1 times 5, which is 5, and that totals to 13. Adding this 3 from before, that gives us 16, so we put the 6 down here and we carry the 1. And finally, we do the final down. So we do 1 times 4, which gives us 4. Adding this 1 gives us 5. So the answer is 56,088. Okay, so just to summarize the method then, if we consider each dot to represent a single digit in our three digit numbers, then we can use the following steps to get the answer in no time. Step 1, we multiply downwards and we put the answer in the answer line. Remembering to carry over any digits if necessary. Step 2, we multiply crosswise, add the mini results, and put the answer in the answer line. Remembering to add on any digits from the previous step if required, and to carry over any digits if necessary. Step 3, we multiply in a star or asterisk pattern, add the mini results, and put the answer in the answer line. Remembering to add on any previous digits from the previous result and to carry over any digits if necessary. Step 4, we multiply crosswise, add the mini result, put the answer in the answer line. Again, remembering to add 
from the previous result if required and to carry over any digits if necessary. And step 5, we multiply downwards again and put in the answer in the answer line. So hopefully by now you would have got a good handle on the technique. So what I'll do is I'll leave you with these two questions for you to try. You can pause the video and I'll join you in a few moments. Okay, so let's see how well he did at these questions. So starting with the first one, multiplying down, so 2 times 6 is 12, and we carry the 1. Then we do the cross, so 2 times 5 is 10, and we're going to add that to 1 times 6, which is 6. That totals to 16. Adding this one from before gives us 17. Then we do the star, or the asterisk, so 2 times 2 is 4, and we're going to add that to 1 times 6, which is 6. I'm going to add that to 1 times 5, which is 5. So 4, add 6, add 5, gives us 15. And adding this one from before gives us 16. Let me carry the 1. Then we do the cross again. So 1 times 2 is 2. I'm going to add that to 1 times 5, which is 5. So 2 add 5 gives us 7. Adding this one from before gives us 8. Then finally, we multiply down. So 1 times 2 is 2. And we put the 2 here. So the answer is 28,672. Number 2. So multiplying down again, so 1 times 6 is 6, put that there. Then we do the cross, so 1 times 8 is 8. I'm going to add that to 1 times 6, which is 6. So 8 add 6 gives us 14, so we put the 4 here and we carry the 1. Then we do the star, or the asterisk, so 1 times 7 is 7. I'm going to add that to 4 times 6, which is 24. I'm going to add that to 1 times 8, which is 8, so 7. Add 24, add 8 gives us 39. Adding this one from before gives us 40. So put the 0 there and carry the 4. Then we do the cross again. So 1 times 7 is 7. I'm going to add that to 4 times 8, which is 32. So 7 add 32 gives us 39. Carrying this 4 from before gives us 43. And carry the 4. Then finally, multiplying down, 4 times 7 is 28. Carrying this 4 from before gives us 32. So the answer is 323,046. Okay, so everybody should have done well on those. But if you feel you need a bit more practice, then feel free to rewind this video and you can work through the technique again. If you found this tutorial helpful, then do leave a like, comment, share with anyone who you feel this could benefit, and do subscribe for all the latest lightning maths tips, tricks, revision and exam techniques. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.